This is what we're waiting for, right? Here goes nothing. I was inspired to do this cooking video based on this YouTube video, which link I will provide in the description below. I hope you enjoy. Okay, as per Snoop Dogg's recipe, this has been soaking all night <clears throat> with some spices and herbs and orange peel. To have a more precise idea of what the oil temperature is going to be, I purchased a thermometer. This is obviously the uh, flour, cornmeal, salt, pepper, a few other spices. Oh yeah, and the potato chips. Here we have the old-fashioned buttermilk. The potato chips did make it into the dry mix. Cheddar cheese, jalapeno chips. For the interest of time, a lot of this video will have moments like this that are sped up. Oh, I forgot to add the chips. And I don't have baking powder. So, this is, even though it's inspired by Snoop Dogg's recipe, I don't have all the ingredients. And I don't know what kind of chips. I'm going to assume they use plain, but I didn't use plain. This is how a non-chef bachelor follows directions. So this is actually a combination of all everybody's, uh, there were what, five, four or five chefs there? Snoop Dogg, Patty LaBelle, uh, Gordon Ramsay. And two others that I don't know who they were. Oh no, Guy Ferrari, Ferrari, however you say his name. And then the one guy, I, I don't know who that was. That guy's but name is David Chan. Everybody is represented here. This is not, but mostly Snoop Dogg and Patti LaBelle. Yeah, like I said, I'll speed up some of the video to get it moving along here. I got this going from the uh, buttermilk into the dry mixture onto the holding rack before I throw it into the deep fryer. Well, deep fryer. I got my skillet of oil. It's already sitting at the proper temperature. It's at 320 right now. Shoot, I got lots of overkill here. I hate waste. I do hate waste. I'm going to do something here. That didn't coat all the way, so I'm going to put this one back in because that's something Gordon Ramsay did. He did a, he did a doubler. So I'm going to put this one in here. Take this one out. Put this one back in. So there's going to be two or three that had double dipping for extra coating. That's going to be the Gordon Ramsay style. Yeah, 
Yeah, sorry about the fan noise. I have to have it on or else my apartment gets smoky fast. The iron skillet frying method was inspired by Patty LaBelle. Okay, this is what it's looking like at six minutes in. Okay, 15 minutes later, they're coming out and the last two are going in. Guy, however you pronounce his last name, Ferrero, Ferrari, Fiery. Sorry, guy. I love the show, but I never uh, got your name right. You did uh, the dill and the salt and pepper mixture on the end. I had something similar. The last two pieces, almost done. Those are the two that got the double coating. The uh, Gordon Ramsay style orange vanilla coca-cola I am not a fan of coca-cola I am not a fan of coca-cola by no stretch of the imagination I'm not a fan of soft drinks period but I love orange and vanilla and I kept seeing this every time I went to the grocery stores I I've caved into temptation. I have to try this. Here goes nothing. You know what? It's actually not half bad. Well, now that I've had them in my mouth for a few seconds. It's a one-time purchase. I won't buy it again. There's the two that were coated. They're a little bit darker. I left them longer because they were coated more. So I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to add it to my plate just to give Gordon Ramsay's uh, Double Dipper a try. I don't have a uh, what do you call it? A uh, kitchen table and chair yet? So I eat in here because I don't have a nagging wife to tell me I can't. Thank you, Lord, for this food. Bless it to my body's nourishment and strength. I pray there's nothing here that can harm me in any way, shape, or form. To the glory of your Son, Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Damn it, that's hot. All of those that were crispy. Oh man. That's the last one to come out of the fryer. That's why it's hot. It is crunchy. I can taste the salt in here. meat very flavorful those uh, spices really got in there that's definitely worth it to keep it soaking marinating all night definitely worth that yeah that's fantastic try one of these other pieces. I sprinkled the spice mix on top of this. Look at that. Crunchy. Not as 
crunchy, but definitely Yeah, you got some serious flavor there Yeah Next time I'm gonna back off on the salt. I'm not a big fan of salt. I Can taste it in here Nice crispy coating. This just goes to show you. YouTube can teach us anything. I'm not a cook, not a chef by no means. If you can follow simple instructions, you can cook for yourself. And more than just peanut butter and jam sandwiches or craft dinner. You know, I would be, if it wasn't for COVID-19, I would be probably eating out a lot more than I do, than I am now. So I've been learning a lot from YouTube and cooking for myself. Maybe there'll be more videos, but as promised, after watching that one with the five celebrities who made the best chicken, I tried to combine each and every one of their recipes. Each one of them has something going on here. You know, uh, there are some herbs and spices I didn't have. I replaced it with stuff that I do have. And that just goes to show you, you can tweak it however you want. And it still turns out delicious. That is a awesome piece of chicken now I wish I had invited somebody for supper oh. <laughs> my wife lives in Thailand I miss you mm -hmm. not mm -mm. jump on a plane and come and visit me thank you very much for watching if you liked it subscribe if not that's okay Thumbs up would be nice though.